Hey guys and gals, uh, Deborah Dash, you boys can hear, and I'm coming back on uh, one other topic that I just can't seem to get off my mind whatsoever, because I, I constantly get bashed for this one thing. That's the factor I happen to enjoy. some programming that a lot of people say is meant only for eight-year-old girls. And that I should be watching more mature, manly things. Um, okay, people can rag on me all they want about MLP, but that's not what we're here about. The two shows in question that I recently got into this year. Well, actually, one of them I got back into through its reboot. And then another is a new series that recently just hit the States. Or it's an adaptation of a really long-running series in Japan. Um, maybe not as long as sanzei san or some of that nature. But uh, what I am, of course, talking about, Sailor Moon and The Precure. Or, uh, Pretty Cure series. Um, Pretty Cure, Pretty Cure, same thing. Um, though, we only have one, um, one portion of it here in the States, uh, which was redubbed Glitter Force. It has a few cut episodes from Smile Pre Cure, um, which is its original name. Which is an amazing show. And I don't see why people judge me for watching this. Because, to be honest, it's better than most of the crap that's on TV these days. Um, especially Sailor Moon Crystal. I mean, yes, it's kind of a rush job. But with what they had to work with and the time frame they had to work with. I say they did a decent job. And the fact that people are going to call me gay and whatnot over me watching shows that are kind of marketed towards girls. You know. But, um, you know, I just recently got done making an AMV for Smile Precure. And, you know, I, or I saw one, and I figured I'd mess with it a little bit, edit it in my own way, and I had one of my favorite songs to it, um, it was Smile Precure Breathe. And, uh, I think it was by Breaking Benjamin. But, it shows a good majority of the fight scenes. I know, that's not the entire notion of it, but it's one of the few reasons why I really love this show. And the same thing with Sailor Moon. Both of them show a group of girls. Or more so, should I say, young women that are willing to take the challenge and fight for their lives, fight for what they believe in, and not take shit from anybody or anyone. And in the case of Gutter Force, I mean, yeah, sure, middle school, whoop de freaking do. So was uh, Usagi Sakino of Sailor Moon for the first two years or the first season of Sailor Moon um but that doesn't make it any more you know action packed it doesn't make it any less manly to watch something like Sailor Moon or MLP Madoka Magica Precure I mean, 
the thing is, if you love the show and you're obsessed with it, keep on. That's why I'm believing in this. And especially in the way this world is being right now, it is the way... I mean, because I keep tracking the news, too, obviously. Because I have a lot of political rants and whatnot on here. Uh, but, you know, I can only take so much before I'm like, okay, time to stop the sadness, time to stop the bleeding. Let's watch something happy for once. And that's something that the Precure series kind of gives me. Same thing with Sailor Moon. Uh, Sailor Moon's kind of a nostalgic property for me. Uh, kind of grew up with it as a kid. Loved it. Then, and still do now. And... You know, uh, one of my friends, who's also on YouTube, uh, Katie Cupcake with 4 a you know, she's the one who brought the show to my attention, and I've loved it ever since. Binged, watched it two times, actually no, three times now on Netflix, and I can't wait for the other sets of Precure to come to the States and to stop on entertainment. I mean, they did a decent job here. I mean, yes, the dub kind of reminds me a lot of the early 90s or late 90s, uh, early 2000s Deacon Cloverway English dubs for Sailor Moon, but that's the best part of it. Um, it's just, you know, they're putting their all into this. And With the amount of male fans for this series, it's pretty much just about the same as the Bronies. And to be honest, I still love MLP to this day. Um, though I didn't keep up with the show. As of late, I missed the last half of season five and season six. Um, but... Which I have the episodes still up to my hard drive. I need to get around to watching it. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, these kind of shows are just amazing and kind of make most of us end up feeling really happy in this crappy world we live today where there's terrorism or terrorist attacks in the Islamic State and. All this mess with Trump, all the protests, all this violence and bigotry and just complete sadness in this human world. I mean, I've, I mean, it may take a while for some of you, but after a while, I'm sure most of you would agree that you're kind of sick and tired of seeing all this shit and wishing... This world was more of a happy place. And that's kind of the world I'm transported to with these series. So. And it's going to make me realize what kind of girl I'm kind of looking for. And that is. So it's a combination of uh, Silver Mars with Silver Mercury and. Or in the case of Glitter Force. Combo of Glitter Sunny and Glitter Breeze. Cause I'm a sucker for tomboys. Um girls love to play sports, mess with cars, that whole thing. I'm into that. Um, I think I've actually dated about two tomboys in my lifetime, so, um, <laughs> but, you know, um, then of course, I would, I would love to have someone who actually encapsulates 
the characteristics of these girls in this anime and also the elements of harmony introduced in MLP. So, to the fellow male fans of the Precure series, I really have. Cheers to you. And uh, let's hope more of it comes to the States. This is an awesome series. And I enjoy it. And I'm sure we all do too. So, peace out. And uh, as I put in the credits of my MV... May you find your happy ending and let no one take it away from you. And may the glitter force shine like the stars. Bang.